setting base bevel. If you're unsure what kind of base bevel you want to run, start with less. If you start with a half degree bevel and don't like that feel, if it being too edgy, you can easily add more bevel with a few pulls of the file. Slowly add more and more bevel until you reach the desired performance or feel. How to set base bevel. Start with a clean flat ski. The base bevel that's currently on the ski must be flatter than the bevel that you are trying to set. So if you're trying to set a 0.75, the ski needs to be less than a 0.75. If you're trying to set a one, the ski needs to be less than a one degree. You can't go from a one degree to a 0.5 degree. The only way to accomplish that is by taking your skis to the shop and having them stone ground, flattened, and then you could set that bevel. At setting base bevel, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we wear a pair of tuning gloves to protect our hands. And then before we get started, it's a good idea just to take a plastic scraper and run it down the base to make sure it's free and clear of any debris before we set the base bevel. All right, so we're gonna be using the base bevel guide a half degree. And then also we're gonna use a medium or fine race file, uh, 12 inch works great. And so you can load that right into your base bevel guide and you wanna make sure the tang or the tail is in the back and the Swix files have a little arrow on there. So you load that in, lock it in tight, and then we're ready to set the base bevel. So I'm gonna be working on the inside of the ski, starting the tip. We'll make sure that these feet are up against the actual edge. I'll put, put this in place, and with moderate pressure, we'll make four full length passes and let the file do the cutting. You don't want to push down too hard because you could add more bevel. After a pass or two, you could just clean your file off to make sure you don't scratch the base material. And it feels like the bevel's just about set, so I don't want to overdo it. I'll come back in with my true bar just to check the angle and see how I'm doing and it looks like I have it at a half degree. And then you just flip the ski over to the next edge. And now you're ready to set the next edge.